Are we all bored of this freezing weather yet? I know I am. I wish I was on a beach. Huh? But I can't afford it yet until her YouTube gets big. So keep on subscribing. All right, so we're gonna do a fun radish video because this one right here, he's always loved radishes. They used to go in his lunchbox, he used to pick out his vegetables. And what's fun is you can to combine science, writing, because remember, you have to write the date and the name on here so you know all of that. So you get to learn all these fun facts. And what's really cool about radishes is you get to eat them in 30 days. So they get to look forward to something. Okay, but today, the most important radish that we're gonna talk about is the watermelon radish. We got it right here. So these are from China. They're from China. Okay, so these are huge radishes. So they're pink in the inside. So they're really good for a holiday that's coming up that I'll show you in just a minute. Something else My is birthday. radishes are natural pasture tolerant. I do believe we've even just grown them in the garden, not eating them, and let them come up, and they've kept some of this horrible pest away that you just can't get rid of. It's my birthday, though. <laughs> it's almost your birthday. The other thing is, these I are giant radishes that, we re that were reported in the 13th century. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to pop this down, and they were reported by a botanist that weighed 100 pounds. So let's picture this. He's about 60 pounds. So can you imagine a radish that big? I mean, he's pretty big to pick up. So that could feed a whole village. And that was interesting. So what we do is we pat it down, and then we're gonna take, I'm gonna mix both of these, and we're gonna put just a few. It doesn't take a lot because we want these to grow big. Okay, you ready to plant them? right in the middle and we're going to plant one of each of these and I'm going to show you why as soon as we plant these. The first ones that we're going to do, okay so put this one right next to it, ready? Right next to this one, good. And the other one, right here. And then we're going to go ahead and put two of these on there as well. So one's a hybrid but they're both a radish bar mode. And then we're going to put this right here, take that, and we're going to put this one here. They get lost in your hands sometimes. So we're gonna put it right there. Okay, and then what's cool is around it, we're gonna put the little ones. No, well, that's not the one. Huh? So what little one do you wanna do? Mm. Which is cool because you could do a mix of these. Like we have this Easter egg blend. Kill it! We have these, oh, we'll do the little carrots. See how cute these are? So you can get fun and creative and go around them. Yummy! So these are the mini little carrots. They're sweet, they're petite, and they're just cute. You ready? You want to put them around? Just to clarify in case you guys didn't hear me, this is not a radish. This is an orange carrot. Do you want to hear your They're thing? little. Okay, you ready? Put do them you, around. Like but this. do you want to hear your thing? Good. With her only one bag, bats, but could it open it so well? Yeah, they're tricky bags. Well, I don't think they are not wild. You picked carrots. No, but the okay, so we had patted that down. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this. Why can't you put it all around like this? Yeah. Do you have a big hand? No, I'm, why can't I just do this? Then you know it? Yeah, but then you don't get the vitamins from the soil. <laughs> so then what's cool is then children get to learn how to spray these with the bottle. But I what I'm gonna show you now. So in China, this is a daikon radish. And what that means is it means one's heart is beautiful. Okay, so again, this is the daikon radish. And what it is, is in China it means one's heart is beautiful. So with Valentine's Day coming up tomorrow, this is perfect. You could even make little hearts out of it. I just want to show you this part right here. So it's a beautiful red. So you could mandolin this. You ready? I mean, it is the most beautiful radish in my opinion. You could cut it up like this, just as a good snack. Just give it a go. Good. Good. So they're more of a 
mild flavor. They're not hard like some of the red radishes. And what I love is you can mandolin them up, you can put them in a salad, you can make a little heart shape if you're creative. And you'll have to tune in to Stefan and my cooking yeah. channel to go ahead and check this out. But really, I think these are one of my favorite radishes, although there are so many. But I love the unique color in them. All right, so please subscribe, like, and share, and let us know if you do something like this with your children. I just wanted to show you how cold it is. I mean, look at the river. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Things, yeah, take the hat off too.